go back real quick to the to this Anthony Joshua so people dug up a post from March with him and Drake this and is then, this is kind of silly this it is, is silly 100%. it's silly because you're going you're going back now if he post this at well he's at the game that's fine but you can't just post like Drake takes pictures with how many people and he's way more famous than the athlete he's gonna ever meet right so he and he goes to, he's a fan of boxing or whatever he travels all over the world london all over so he's gonna take pictures with everybody so eventually when everyone has a downfall you can post a picture of drake like damn seven years ago he visited them in dubai it's like okay i don't think that's why they're losing but it, it is a funny coincidence because he mentioned it this is gonna break the curse hold up joshua posted this yes about to break the curse yes Well, forget everything I just said. <laughs> Why would he do that? Why would you bring that bad juju on yourself? I don't know. People are talking about it. It's kind of an awkward picture. It's kind of silly. Yeah, I don't know. What else you got? Um, Drake can't. I mean, I love Drake. I don't like it. Have, 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 well, I kind of like it because it, Although the the stations, like the sports stations, all they talk about is Drake at the game. Now it's become Drake versus Golden State instead of Toronto versus Golden State. It's Drake versus Golden State. It's just funny how he's touching the fucking coach's shoulders and shit. He's talking shit to Draymond Green. What were you thinking though? This is what you don't want to do. You don't want to fire up a professional athlete, give them more motivation. So they go, excuse me? And then they've been oh, doing it for so long, they're just going to ball out like Draymond Green did in Toronto. Ball the fuck out and they won. What's this? Uh, Dan made this. It's a collection of social media posts after Andy Ruiz's win. So Conor McGregor even said, I know firsthand the toughness of a Mexican chin. They come up off the floor like something in a thriller. It's never over until it's over with the Mexicans. God bless them. Congrats, Andy Ruiz. Yeah. And this is Ariel Hawani. Yeah. I guess it's a wrestling move called the DX chop. So that's what Andy Ruiz Damn, did. Damn, Ruiz shocked the world and DX chop am all on the way out Legend. okay this if is snickers doesn't give andy destroyer one so his handle is at andy underscore destroyer one the heavyweight champion of the world commercial deal after this endorsement i will never eat a snickers again that's at least three percent of your profits don't risk it that's Gabriel hilarious iglesias that's hilarious dude andy's set for the rest of his life man he's set mexican heavyweight champion you're set even though he's born in california the worst thing you can do in life is fucking quit. Uh, he wasn't a true champion. His whole career was consistent of lies, contradiction, and gifts, facts, and now we know who's running from who. This was tough to read. He, this, but here, this is if you know the backstory, my brother sent me this and was like, dude, uh, how about Deontay Wilder? Wilder is so upset, not at Josh, but the way things were handled and the way they dangled the carrot in front of his fucking face. He's, he's, he has this chip on his shoulder. He's yeah. pissed, man. Cause he's like, I fucking told you guys, man, this was going to happen. And this is what happened. So instead of being like, Oh, Joshua, it's all good. You come back. He's upset because you fucked it up for the three, the three of them. There's a fraternity of three heavyweights that can own this, this platform and the greed of Eddie Hearn fucked it up. It has to be Hearn, right? I'm, I'm telling you, that's what it is, Jim. Yes. That, so when Wilder lashes out, he's so upset for the sport of boxing. He's not. It's not because he's talking shit to Joshua. The where he's coming here, it's it's that's all at his team, not just Joshua. So as soon as I saw, it, oh, he just he's really upset. Mm. He's just he's mad. He's coming from a place of anger. I saw a post-fight interview with one of the reporters that was talking to Joshua about the Wilder thing. And he said something like, it was supposed to be him or it should have been him that knocked me out. Something like that. That's why Wilder, that's why Wilder's lashing out this poison. Cause like, I fucking, you fucked it up guys. Uh, and then Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury, we have our back and forth, but Anthony Joshua changed his stars through life. 
heavyweight boxing these things happen rest up recovery group and come again yeah he's great on social media yeah at the end of the day that's what it is uh congratulations to the mexican warrior andy Reeves on a historic when demonstrated tremendous heart resilience and termination underdogs like this are why we love the sport agree yeah that's steven espinosa Polly, this was a si, si puede. if i ever saw one nice man how many more of these a little more than a year any reason oh here you go a little more than a year ago, Andy Ruiz Jr. Res representing himself as his own manager was offered $30,000 to fight Anthony Joshua. Last night, he got $7 million for the fight. Now as the heavyweight champ, he will make even more. Yeah, because they have to do the rematch clause. Mm. Anthony Joshua put, this is Andy's night. Congratulations, champ. Beautiful. I think that's good, but I also want to, again, put yourself in Anthony Joshua's uh, sheets this morning. Most girls are like, yes, sir. Um, <laughs> but put yourself in his bed this morning. But here's my only knock on this. I I like when the guy's like pissed. Like I, I like he's a good sport, but he's fucking distraught. Maybe Josh was just a good actor. He was saying he, this he mental game. Didn't seem to really give a fuck. He's all, yeah, we can He do said it? he has to stay positive. So he's just trying to look at the positive stuff. He's, he can only move forward from here. That's fine. And I, I love that mindset, but I need you to kill, care a little more. And maybe he does. I don't know the dude at all. This one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is smiling. Oh, no. He's probably like, what the hell's going on? No. He's like, I can't believe it. Like, oh, hell no. Yeah. I don't know, it happened. That stoppage too was weird, right? When the guy's like, do you want to fight? He's like, yeah, I do, I want, I want to fight. But I guess he saw something that Joshua couldn't continue. Yeah, his eyes were probably all googly. Yeah, yeah. in the beginning. Is it, yeah, isn't that a technique though? Spit your mouth, peace out, get more time? Not if you want to win. Spit your mouth and turn your back, that's definitely a way out. <laughs> Yeah. I think, I think Joshua thought it was going to be an easy night, even though it's so stupid because he's around, surrounded by morons. He thought it was going to be an easy night. Was like, holy fuck, this guy's a, not a good matchup for me. I'm going to fight in my life and just wasn't mentally prepared to go through it. And the next fight's going to be a lot better, but still going to be a fucking fight, whether he's prepared or not. But I just think Joshua was expecting for Ruiz to kind of cash it in and just make it easy for him to hit. And when he realized, oh, I'm in a dog fight, he's like, fuck, dude. And just wasn't there that night. Indeed. All right, this is a little older from last week i don't think we talked about it yet but ufc's uh, <laughs> speed getting paid but yoel romero his guy one of the kawa brothers represented him for that tainted supplement thing that he went through and apparently he was awarded uh, the judgment of 27 million dollars from that company well the malky yeah brothers the other about abraham i think abraham townie man them boys that's who you want to go with man they get people paid and then if you saw to come sniff around they fight for you yeah God is always good. I see you soon, boy. Thank you, Abraham Kawa, first round management, Malky. Yeah, man. Them boys getting dudes paid. But <laughs> according to Romero's team, which includes attorney Howard Jacobs and Kawa, the breakdown down is roughly $3 million for the lost wages. $3 million, $3 million. Okay. Now, I wonder if we'll actually get that much money. No, everyone's saying that the company will just fold. file for bankruptcy because it's not a huge company. It's like one of those online companies. So will you not give, get any money? From what I'm hearing from people talking about this, it seems like if he gets anything, it'll be so small. Oh, wow, man. I'll have to even be able to ride off to the sunset. I went to that website, too. There, It's like Gold Star. And the first thing I did was go to Usada's, you know, high risk list and just type in Gold Star and it popped up a, a few times. Thanks. Well, I wish he got all that money. Yeah, that'd be sweet if he did. What else you got? Jessica Andrade. She was robbed at gunpoint with her wife in her Honda HRV in Brazil. And so they took her car, phones, and all that stuff. But luckily, they recovered it. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Not even that it's cool she got robbed. It's cool they found their stuff. Yeesh. Yeah. Here's a picture of Jessica Andrade that she posted recently, too. It's her naked with her belt. Oh. <laughs> it's an aggressive picture. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. Why did she do that? Randomly. Is it for like Gay Pride Week or something? It might be, right? Since it's right there. <laughs> I had no idea she was married. Just found out through this. That's cool. Uh, what else you got, Jen? I got Pauli Malinaji. He's taking it like a, another step further, saying that he was, he's ready to spit on Artem Lobov's, Lobov's mom. Hey, man. If it got to that point. These boys are taking another level. I don't re, re I, what's he say? I don't regret About it what because the earlier. line was crossed a long time ago. You can't take spitting or anything else out of context. This line was crossed two years ago. Once you cross that line, you can't set a new line. Not only do I not regret it, if his mother was at the press conference, I'd have spit on her too. There's no re reason to regret anything. I'm ashamed I couldn't do more. Once you cross that line with me, we can just go. Malinology is referring to the uh, time as a sparring partner for Connor back when Notorious, okay, okay. And so that was the, when the line was crossed? That's when it began. Connor's team, obviously Arden was part of Connor's team or is part of Connor's team. Spitting. Man. I think he's just talking about how like he's been doing this. He can't go back from this. He has to go further. Okay. But spitting on the mother, that's just kind of crazy. That's so intense. Yeah. All right. Chris Cyborg has a fight lined up with Felicia Spencer, the girl that just won against Megan Anderson. Oh, all right. Little Canadian's finest. Felicia Spencer in the house. That fight's at 240. Where's that at? Let's look here. It might be. Oh, Albert, Edmonton, Alberta. Edmonton. Ooh, shout out to Edmonton. Great place. In July, too. No snow. Fuck yeah, Edmonton. With Holloway and Frank Edgar. Hell yeah. All right. What else you got? Who did? Felicia Oh, yeah? Yeah, at the end of the Damn, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. I like Felicia, though. What else you got? She's really badass. Just fun to say. Bye, Felicia. Um, another one, Jermaine Durandamy versus Aspen Ladd, UFC Sacramento, main event. Which main is event? Getting, main event, which is getting some some fans and Dana White to go at each other. Uh, who else is on that card? Rewire Faber oh, and yeah. Ricky Simone. I wonder if it's this one right here. Yeah, there you are. Ooh, Feely's always fun. Cynthia Calvillo's on there, though. Um, Darren Elkins, Ryan Hall, Darius. Uh, there's some names. Gian Villante, fuck yeah, man. Sarah McMahon, Nico, that's a great fight. Josh Emmett, hell yeah. yeah. Back to, dude, you're our favorite. This is a great card. That's, there's no like, it's not gonna fucking blow your hair back if you're a casual fan, but for the hardcore, this is a great card. What else you got? John Lineker, uh, he's saying that Sean Shelby, UFC, they're not giving him any fights. So he's like, can you just let me go so I can fight elsewhere? His last opponent had four fights since his last fight. Uh, four no, fights his, in a his, year. His last opponent was uh, my boy, Corey. Yeah, Sandy. Sandy again. My last opponent fought four times a year. He already has another fight. Sean likes him. I've fought only four times since 2016. I need to fight. If you don't like me or my style, just let me go. All right. Well. They love his style. I wonder why they're not fighting him more. There were, there were injuries. Like, wasn't he supposed to fight Cruz a couple times and then like, he got injured, then Cruz got injured, something like that? Yeah, I think they're trying to. Uh, they like his style. I don't think it's any of that. People are afraid of him too, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. I think it's just he gets injured. Have we ever seen him or. Uh... No, never mind. Keep going. Um. A lot of fans pointed this out that the UFC released a promo with Nate Diaz for his comeback fight, and they didn't show anything with Conor McGregor. Obviously, right? Why? What do you mean, obviously? Because they don't want to show their money guy getting dropped or looking bad against someone. It's Have you strange. seen this promo? It's strange because Conor's not scheduled to fight any time. I haven't seen the promo. He's it's not a scheduled, pretty sick promo. He's not scheduled to fight any time, and also most people know if like the casuals they all pointed they out. all know nate from his counter fights yeah. a lot of people thought nate beat him twice why would you show that let me see this highlight yeah it's actually pretty dope better than the nfl no highlight. nothing comes close that was like the spider verse and like comic book stuff
If you have not already, hit that subscribe button with its notification bell and leave a comment in the comment box below of what you thought of the video and tune in for more on MMA News Outlet.